Pisces stars, come with me today while we work on the activated charcoal soap. So first of all, I wanna talk about my lye water solution. I switched it out with coconut milk, coconut water, and lye. I also have my other additives in here, like the sugar and the salt. Now this is a little harder to stir and I use frozen cubes just so it doesn't scorch the coconut milk. So we're gonna set that to the side and work out measuring our solid butters and oils. So I'm gonna do the bo double boiler method with the solid butters. And now that it's all melted down, I'm gonna combine those two in a bucket and get it prepped for the lye water solution. Now here you see me stirring and I make sure that the blender is burnt. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour in the lye coconut milk solution and go ahead and stir. Now I want you guys to see in real time the stick blending. So this is not edited at all. This is how long I actually stick blend and I call it pulse blending because I want it to be at a light trace because the activated charcoal will accelerate the soap. And the soaping temp I'm working at today is about 80. I like to be about between 80 and 90 degrees. Once that comes to a light trace, I'm gonna split this off. This only needs to be split into two. I'm gonna add my titanium dioxide to the small colorant because we are gonna do an in-drop swirl. To the bigger container, I'm gonna add in my activated charcoal. Now you will see me stir this in and it's because I don't want it splattering everywhere. And then I go ahead and turn on the stick blender. I make sure I scrape down on the sides. And as you can see, it's still pretty fluid, which is nice to work with because I am working with essential oils that accelerate trace as well. And this blend does have patchouli and bergamot in it, along with lemon and it, it smells so good. And this is very surprisingly popular among the men. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick blend here a little more because I want it a little bit thicker than what it is. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and do my drop swirl design. Now I start off high and then I'm gonna go low. And when you start off high, it makes sure it reaches the bottom of the container because I want this evenly spread out. I don't want like patches of white and then have a whole bunch of black. So going high and then going low is definitely the technique here when you're doing a drop swirl. And I'm gonna take my spatula and do just one swirl around and then do a swirl on the outside. This is gonna mix up in the container so I'm not worried about how it looks right now because I know when I do the pour, it is gonna spread out. I'm hoping it doesn't turn out gray. I wasn't expecting to do that much white, but so if you want to, for future reference, you could split off probably half of what I did. So I got that poured in there. I'm gonna bounce it just to make sure there's no air bubbles in it. This is pretty fluid. I let this sit for a little bit before texturing. I should have let it sit a little longer. Um, I always almost over texture my tops. It is just so fun texturing the tops. I tend to overdo it. I either go too deep or do too much. As you can see, it turned gray because, well, I was mixing the color too much texturing, but it's okay. We're gonna let this saponify overnight and then come back and do the cut tomorrow. It is now the next day and we're gonna unmold the soaps. And I love these new tall and skinny soap molds that I got. And if you're curious where I got them, I got them from Winston and Walter. So definitely check them out. It is way better than lining the molds with parchment paper. Look at that design. Like, oh, I can't wait to cut into this. Ooh, the first cut is always the best cut. Look at the design. Oh my gosh. You, you just never know what you're going to get until you cut your soap. Definitely what I was going for. It kind of looks like ocean waves, kind of like white lightning, 
definitely the theme I was going for here. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This recipe is on the Patreon page under Activated Charcoal 2024. This is the new updated recipe with the salt, sugar, and activated charcoal measurements. So definitely check it out. And thanks for joining and I'll see you guys next time.